by old flyers. Everybody's afraid of the Zionists. The National Negro, he said that some religion was a gutter religion, which is not, as Ali Kitab. But uh, those people got on him so bad, he was playing Mendelssohn. Remember that? He was playing the fiddle. Not the fiddle, but the violin. No, Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn was a Jew that became a Christian, I think it is. But Mendelssohn, I said, boy, this, they didn't scare this boy to death. And he said that it scared him to death. Okay. They can't do that to us. They can't do nothing like that to us. All we do is talk about them like we've been talking about them. Pull their tail. They mess with the wrong Negro. With us, that's the easy, that's the easy and for everybody else, it's impossible. They're they so scared they won't whoop on the boy. We're just going to slap him around like we've been doing. And guess what that makes us? H-E-R-O-S-S. Heroes, right? Who's the hero? The one that the go, go fight the monster? Don't nobody else want to bother? Okay, that's what we're telling everybody. Don't y'all stay home. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it, boy. Till we get it rolling real good. That's our job. That's a strategy. That's a tactic. That's using what Allah give you. Simple, right? Isn't it? Tell it to. That's as simple a denominator as you can get. Then what did Allah give you? Well, you ain't got a whole lot of people. Allah run them off. I'm not Allah run them off, but the, the shaitan run them off. Every time you get three people, they run them off. Well, what are you going to do? We jumping on the, 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 the shaitan of the era, the Zionist. And everybody know that's who it is. Everybody know, right? Hey, man, it's sweet. Okay, so technically, and people make the dua, or Allah make it easy for you. That's just what it is. Because everybody is afraid of the Zionists, and we have no respect for them at all. Okay, so are there any questions, any comments, anything that we talked about that might not have been clarified or anybody is, uh, yes. What is the Zionist? Zionist. Zion is a hill in Jerusalem. And you notice you go by churches, many of them, they say Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. The Zionist is a group of people that are national Jewish in origin. They don't believe in Judaism. They believe in the book in, 19, in 1885, that era came out called Judenstadt, the Jewish state. The Zionists are Jews that have hijacked Judaism. That's what our friends, the, the, the real Jews, tell us. They hijacked Judaism. So Israel is a Zionist state. Israel, the state of Israel, is ruled not by Judaism, but by Zionism. The reason you know it's ruled by Zionism because they have white steak on the menu in some hotels in Jerusalem. White steak, you know what that is? That's pork. That's just pork chop. White steak. And it does look quite just plucked that center out. But anyway, Zionist is an ideology that have no religious connotations at all, only national connotations. If you are a Jew, then that's your state. That's the whole criterion. And Judaism 
is part of the religion, the global religions. So if you talk about a Christian, they're Ali Kitab, people of the book. If you talk about Jews, real Jews, religious Jews, the ones with the beards and the furry hats and all that, those are generally, when you see them, those are technical Jews. The, a lot of, they are friends, you know, those guys. Okay, they say that these guys, the rulers in Israel, hijacked their religion called Judaism. They stole it from them. And they're using the Holocaust and all that stuff that happened to Jews to justify what they do to the world. And the world is finding out that they're an enemy to humanity and we're getting in the front row. Did that help? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, when you hear about the state of Israel, that's a Zionist state, not a Jewish state. Right? In fact, the, the Jews, the, the the ones that practice Judaism, they don't even go in the army or nothing. Yeah. They're trying to make them, and you see where they are. They're out in the street. I don't think they're going to pull it off because if they got enough nerve to stand up to Zionists around the world, they got enough nerve to rot in jail, and they'll consider it, un they'll consider it oppression. But look what it'll look like. The rabbis sitting in prison, right? And remember, right now, the Zionists are losing credibility. And yeah, they scare everybody else, but we can see where they're headed. With Allah's help, they're headed downhill. They just go too far on everything. They've always done that. The Zionist mentality carries them too far. So I, I hope I uh, cleared up some of that. Okay, are there any more questions or comments? So next month in Black History, uh, we'll start writing the flyer up this afternoon and tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have it by Tuesday when we get the flyer. We'll start... Uh, we'll have uh, at least two or three visits around at nighttime, you know, visiting the centers. And remember, we're claiming from Richmond all the way to Baltimore. Now, it may take us between, so if we have February, if we have March, and in April, that's the... Uh, Ramadan period, I think April 2nd or something like that it comes in. I don't remember exactly. But we have all of that time and we had a whole month to go all around. And so everything that we're talking about building or finishing up or structuring or restructuring around here with our property and all of that, uh, that's what we're going to be doing during this period. And so that's what we have uh, uh, all the way up to Ramadan is the organizational period. That's why this is a winter offensive instead of a spring offensive. Usually everybody waits till the spring to go out and do what they want, but we chose a winter offensive. A winter offensive is different. That means we have to get used to the cold out there. Yeah. And remember January, February and March. February is usually muy frío. Muy, muy, right? I mean, it, on the, this. so anyway, you notice how December was just cruising because it's getting hot uh, back this way. But anyway, January picked up, but it looks like February going to 
roll in here, and the first part of uh, March before the 20th is the spring kicks in on the 21st of March. Uh, that don't mean it's get, it get warm or nothing like that. So we got all of that time. That's why we started a winter offensive, because we have time to mess around. We have time to get used to what we get time to see who's going to be with us on these certain things, right? We get time to do it. We don't have to fall apart about nothing. Uh, are there any more questions or comments? Anything come over the wire there? Oh, that's what somebody said. Yeah, said yeah, yeah. Well, no, they, they, that's fine. That means that we got all, we get all the attention. We don't want them to get, uh, you know, we want a nice tussle, right? And the better the tussle, the more everybody, you know, you got to remember what we've already done. What we're going to do with the Zionists is what we did with Boss Man. See, we put protection out there years ahead of time. So they can do so much, but they can't, like, they might, but suppose they get rid of you. Well, when they get rid of you, your CDs, DVDs, and all that, unless they can get them off the market real quick, which... After a while, they can't because you beat them, dropped them here and there, you know, and they can't get them all off. And you don't, they don't, you don't have to have, if we have 500 of them, they don't have to get but 100 of them. Of course, they're all what? Repetitive. Repetitive, right? All right. That means the way we sound, our language, our attitude shows that we don't have no fear of the Zionists at all, right? You should imagine the, uh, what was that guy, Sean Hannity? That, that was years ago. That was a long time ago. People still remember that. And you know what they remember? They said they could, could tell, man, the body language, like you didn't care nothing about us. Of course not. Didn't care nothing about them then, don't care nothing about them now. So we will move from uh, the so-called wretched of the earth to the ones beloved by the Muslims. That's where we're moving in. Why? Because we're going to take up the issue that they all wish they could take up, but they're not, they're afraid. It's just simple as that. So this is not a hard job. It's just don't nobody want it. That's all. <laughs> and, uh, and Allah arranges that. Allah arranges where the job that needs to be, don't nobody want it. Right? But your self. <laughs> the job, don't nobody want it. So you don't have to argue with them and scheme to get that position. and. <laughs> Uh, the agenda d d depends on who was running things and, uh, you know, okay. Uh, if you take all the movements, one of the movements, say the National Negro, that movement was uh, just to get money, talk out the side of their mouth and hoodwink people and get multi-millions of dollars, you know, and buy ranches and stuff. Okay, the other movement, if you take Imam Warthadin Muhammad, at one time, it was really pro-American, trying to be. But as time went on, 
he realized, and that's why when he was given one lecture, he looked around, he said it more than once. He said, y'all think they would meet? He was talking about his imams, like Fahim Shuwaib and them out there in Oakland, and all of them. He said, they not with me. Has anybody ever heard? He said that on the pla- once, yeah. yeah, he heard. He said that. Once is enough. He said it. They're not with me. They're with they self. He said the same thing that I'd been saying for 20, 30 years. I don't know, a long time. I'd been saying that for 20 years because I was in the group. I liked him as a person. But there was a period where it was getting kind of wishy-washy. And then as he survived and we survived, it came a time not long ago where the evolution of understanding